Hey, we're here at JC's Comics. Some more, your pop culture superstore. And that's 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio. 4361749531 Just bought a collection, a bunch of treasury editions, and a few other things. So we'll go through these real quick. We're going to process these things out. And they'll be available for sale tomorrow at the shop. So if you have any interest in them, I would say get down here ASAP because you just never know how quickly these things will sell. You know, sometimes they'll sit around for months and months or years and decades, but sometimes they're out the door immediately. So do not hesitate. He who waits loses. But we got to go through the treasure editions. We got the Fantastic Four Volume 2. Uh, it's pretty nice. You know, most of these treasure editions are going to be probably 10 to $12 each. You know, they're not going to be overly expensive. Got this great John Romita Sr. front piece. I'm not sure if this thing has ever been reprinted before. You know, an amazing piece of artwork. I wish I owned it. You got uh, the thing turning into Stan Lee. You got a little uh, little intro there by Stan. Uh, let's take a look at the back here. Inside the Baxter building. Got the surfer. And it doesn't doesn't tell. You got the Impossible Man, Day with the FF, Family Portrait, Coming of Galactus. So you got 48, 49, and 50 reprint. Let's see what the... There you go. And I believe this is this is John Basama and Joe Sinnott. It's uh even got old Doctor Doom in the family portrait there. The poor the thing. He's got uh he's got some women problems there. He's got the best of both worlds. You better call a friend. Happy birthday to Sue. Happy birthday, Sue. Reprints the origin. Got the Impossible Man. He was a pretty nutty character back then. Let's see right there. We'll break his teeth if he tries to bite me now. Got the Submariner, the first time he and Doctor Doom teamed up. There's some early great Jack Kirby artwork. Got reed shaving. You don't see that in comics these days. Thing cleaning his feet. You got Galactus. Galactus is a man. He's the thing trying to trying to punch him, and you know he didn't even feel it. My extra special Sunday punch was like nothingville. Now what? He drops some sort of nutty capsule in front of me. Ben, look out! Run! Run! Foof! Yep, take that. Got the watcher. Some great, great stuff here. And then uh, got another John Romita senior cover and a back cover too. And then you've got this Hulk on the rampage, which is extra special because the unquotable Trump. They kind of use that as reference to to that cover there. You know, amazing, huge, tremendous, stupid. But uh, again, John Romita, senior cover. Same with the back. The back is by Herb Trump. Reprint some of the covers. First appearance of Doc Sampson. Got Hulk 3, some Tales of Suspense. And let you know about some of the other uh, treasure editions that are out there. There you go. Hulk pinup. You know, drawn by more than one artist. Uh, you know, you got Jack. You got, I think that's what Marie. Uh, you got Jack Kirby. You got Jack Kirby. Lots of Jack Kirby. Herb Tramps, Marie Severin. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry, that's not. Hmm. You got Steve Ditko, Bill Everett, John Basama. You got a reprint of the, I believe it's the Marvel, Marvel premiere. Is this Marvel premiere. Let's take a look back here again. Marvel feature, yeah, the Marvel feature with uh, Jim Starlin. And there's Samson. Betty's all over him because he's got the green hair. 
It doesn't matter, Len, not to me. Here, lean on me just a bit. We'll make it somehow together. And watching the unlikely pair walk away through great green eyes, the hawk is aware, vaguely, dimly, that he's somehow lost something. But for the life of him, he can't sure, can't quite be sure just what it was. Got the leader. Got some Bill Everett work there. And then we got Mighty Avengers number seven. Kirby cover. Kirby back cover. Except you got John Romita doing the touch up on the face there. Like a giant man in the back. He's like, hey, I'm coming to the party. Reprints of Avengers 52. You got the first appearance of the Vision, the waiting of uh, Yellow Jacket and Wasp. And then you got the Lady Liberators. Got a Sal Basama cover or pinup. The Enchantress. You got the Valkyrie there. There's Circus of Crime. Get me a lawyer. I know my rights. By now, pal, I bet you got them memorized. Greetings, Wasp. Come on in. The revolution is fine. That's pretty fine. Scarlet Witch, John Basema. Got Tom Palmer. Got the Yellow Jacket. So where's it at here? Division. At Ultron 5. Behold the Vision. The Black Panther. Got the Grim Reaper. Got Giant Superhero Team Up. Again, this is a. Uh, I think this is a uh, Gil Kane and John Romita cover here. So, Gil and John, same with the back cover. Reprints uh, like Surfer 14, Daredevil 43, Journey in Mystery 112, Submariner 8. Got some other pinups. There's a Ramita pinup. There's a Basama pinup. There you go. You got Basama. You got Ramita. Got the Jester. You got Gene Colon artwork. You got John Basama. A couple of John Basama pages there. Great, great stuff. Fabulous Fantastic Four. The Kirby cover. Kirby back cover. You got the Frightful Four. You got Doom. You got Submariner. Looks like they reprint FF4, 23, 51, and 94. Some powerful, powerful stuff here. There's a Dinosaur running, crashing, breaking up stuff. Howard the Duck, this was an original uh, treasury, original story when he was running for president, plus uh, reprinted Howard the Duck number one. Get down, America. Look, even the Hulk is behind it there. This is Gene Cohen, Howard the Duck volume two, when he was running for president. We got some Sal Basama work there. Testimonials. We got some testimonials here as far as why you should vote for uh, Howard. The Incredible Hulk. Howard likes a little duck. Duck is Hulk's friend. Vote for Hulk or Hulk will smash your face. The thing. He smokes a mean stogie that's good enough for me. Go plobber him, feather puss. Power Man. Listen, I work for a living, so I'm running for the candidate who's going to help me feather my nest. Mr. H.T. Duck. Not some jive turkey, you dig? Know your candidate? You got an interview with Howard the Duck by Steve Gerber. Reprint some of his appearances, like in Giant Size Man Thing. You got Frank Bruner, the great Frank Bruner, doing some of this this artwork. So you get the first appearance of Beverly. Another team up book. Again, 
You've got uh, Gil Kane and Joe Sinnott. Seasons greetings. This reprints. Let's see what this reprints. Looks like there's a champions that it reprints. You've got Avengers 58. You got Tales to Astonish 93. Marvel Team Up 6. Daredevil looks like 86. And that must say it's a brand new story. There's a brand new. So there's a. Uh, that's what this is. There's uh, a story that sort of ties everything in together. Uh, by Roger Stern and George Tuska and Don Perlin. There you've got part of The Thing versus sub, uh, The Silver Surfer. And there you go. Even an android can cry. You've got Sensational Spider-Man number 74, or number 14 from 1977. Again, you got Gil Kane. You've got the John Romita back cover. It's a new piece. This reprints issues 100. 101, 102, 103. The Morbius uh, saga with the lizard and Spidey with the six arms. And the story from Not Bren Eck. It's amazing stuff here. That's a very cool page there. Whoever owns that artwork, they're a lucky, lucky person. It's got Spidey and his six arms. Got the lizard. And you got Gwendolyn. What a lucky, lucky person. Got the origin of Morbius. Body with the six arms. I remember reading issue 100 when I was a kid. This was just got just one of the best books. Rampaging Hulk. This is uh not not Joe or not uh, not Jack. It is a uh, cover is by Bob Brzezinski and Jack Abel. And this reprints some of the uh, the Herb Tramp stuff. We got 136, 137, 143, and 144. And it's got some pinups in the back as well. Here we go. We got another copy. The Superman vs. the Amazing Spider-Man came out in 1976. This was historical at the time. Superman and Spider-Man together? What? What the hell? Next thing you know, dogs and cats are going to be eating out of the same dish. But, uh, we got... Peter Parker hitting on uh, Lois Lane. Superman doesn't like that. Far out! It's really you, Superman! Correct, Web Slinger. I heard reports about you. You better have an explanation for what you've done, or my friend, take my word, you're going to be sorry. It's like, okay. Tries to swing out of his way, and Doc Doom, and or Doc Ock, and Lex Luthor are in there, causing trouble like they always do. Perhaps there's been a mistake. And Spidey punches him and sends Superman uh, reeling. That fool web slinger has made me mad. Well, I've got a news flash for you, Supes. You're not half, not not half so tough as you think you are. Here you've got uh, origin, his origin. You got Doc Ock there. Spidey beats up Doc Ock. There's Lex Luthor. Got uh, written by Gary Conway, Ross Andrew, Dick Giordano. Great, great stuff. Also, message from those two. We've got a Treasure Edition, uh, 2001 by Jack Kirby, based on the movie. Oh, Jack Kirby. So if you're a Kirby fan, plus it's got some 2000 AD uh, backup features. Giant Holiday Grab Bag Special. Got the reprint from uh, Marvel Team Up. Uh, issue 1, Fantastic Four 26 and 25, Daredevil 7, and Amazing Adventures with Inhumans and Black Widow number 5. Got a DC Treasury here, uh, number C31, Six Spectacular Superman Stories. Uh, but unfortunately, you can see that we got a torn page there. Got some stuff from Superman on the screen. See some Ross Andrews stuff there. How to draw Superman. And then we got a couple of the Treasury reprints of Star Wars. This one is the Whitman edition. And then you've got the regular Marvel edition. So we've got these two here as well. Reprinting 
uh, the six issues from Marvel, so one through three and, and four through six. Now, the other comics that we have, we've got New Mutants 1, we've got Giant Size Avengers 1, which is the return of the Wizard and the uh, some of the All-Winner Squad. Uh, we've got Giant Size Avengers number two. This has really fantastic artwork by the late Dave, Dave Cockrum. Uh, this stuff's pretty amazing. I got the early Mantis appearance. You got Kang in there. Giant Size Avengers number three. Again, you've got Dave Cockrum doing the art on this. Uh, Giant Size Avengers four. Could be the wedding of the Scarlet Witch and the Vision. And this was uh, Don Heck did that. And you've got a reprint of Giant Size Avengers five. We got a couple of Giant Size Avengers fives. Uh, issue six, volume, volume uh, annual six. We've got George Perez doing the artwork. Uh, you got Wonder Man in this issue here, and the Beast. Beast goes after Wonder Man. Let's see if we can find it here. Here we go. The Beast is looking for him. Wonder Man sneaking around. We've got Avenger Seven, Avengers Annual Seven, uh, with uh, the Death of Warlock by Jim Starlin, with Thanos. If you've never read this, this is amazing stuff. Look at this. This is what you should have seen in the movie. Wouldn't you like to have seen this in the movie? Wouldn't you like to have seen Thor and Thanos duking it out that way? Thor with his hammer, with his winged helmet. Now that's what you should have seen. This is what that movie should have been. Not the uh, embarrassment that it is. I'm sorry. Embarrassment. Kind of talking about the uh, the six soul gems. This is early appearance and early talk and the early reference of the soul gems. But here we go. We've got Luke Cage, number one, Hero Fire, the first appearance of Luke Cage. Uh, we've got that. That's going to be available for sale. So you get his origin as far as what happened and, and him just being in prison, how he got in prison. And very, very powerful, very important book. So, again, don't hesitate. We've got Luke Cage, number three. We've got a number eight with him taking on Dr. Doom. We got a number 20 when he was Power Man. He was no longer just Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. He was Power Man. You've got a 27. Unfortunately, there's no Mr. Fish issue. you got the Cockroach. He fights the Cockroach. There we got uh, this cover with this great cover by Rich Buckler and and uh, Claus Jansen. He's got Piranha Jones. You've got another I'm going to think we've got a Ron Wilson and a Joe Sinnott cover. They were a great team. You know, John Romita had something to do with this cover here. He may have inked it. I think that's a, that's a Ron Wilson cover. And you've got another Ron Wilson cover there, issue 37. Issue 44, I believe this is Gil Kane and I believe Frank Giacola. It's not signed, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's Frank Giacola's ink over Gil Kane. You've got a Jim Starlin cover. Now, Jim, unfortunately, did not do the art on the inside. Marv Wolfman wrote those. This is the first time Luke Cage and Power, uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist teamed up with art by John Byrne. This is an amazing book. He's going after Misty Knight, and unfortunately, Colleen Wing is there. And he wants, he, he's not hearing anything of it. She tries to put him down, and he's just too much for her. And Misty and, and Danny is out on a date, and she gets the call that Colleen's in trouble. Danny shows up, becomes Iron Fist, and gives Luke Cage what for. And there goes another one of those shirts. Luke Cage not very happy about that. Somebody's going to pay. And they're fighting. They fight it out like they always do. Plus it has these great hostess ads. And then at the end, again, you've got this great John Byrne artwork. And then we have issue 49. Again, them uh, getting together. And this leads into their own series together. amazing stuff again if you're interested in any of this i would get down here asap these will go on sale tomorrow morning when the shop opens at 11 and uh other than that look thor thor's in the dingling family got hillbillies he'll be redneck hillbillies in space and thor uses fruit pies to stop them and we got a devil dinosaur uh story 
And uh, again, be down here if you want these. Thanks.